All right, guys and gals, welcome back to Survival Fountain of Youth. And yes, it's nighttime. I have decided it's probably better to work through the night. Um, I went down to sleep and realized we'd be almost completely dehydrated by then. That's something I don't want to do. I'd rather sacrifice some energy and do a little bit of work at night. How come I didn't see that before? We'll go check it out in a little bit. All right, I think we'll be okay if we sleep through the night now. I keep forgetting that at night, you're not allowed to work. You'll potentially kill yourself. Yeah, let's just go to sleep. Oh my god. Guys. We're at sunstroke level one. Not gonna take that. We also got rid of all this stuff. Because it's, it's just, it's pretty much gone. I'd rather just make new stuff. Okay, we gotta make a chemistry workbench. Probably should just go ahead and make ourselves a little <laughs> a little shelter that's over here. What do we need? Split log, a long stick, clay. Carpentry workbench. Rope, sticks, log, okay. Let's go find some long sticks. But first, let's go read this. I thought we already read it. Oh, we haven't. What the hell? <gasps> oh no. Oh, I see it. Little jerk just came out of nowhere. Okay, what does this say? The image depicts a primitive loom and a master weaver producing cloth. It looks like he's using red algae as the raw material. Didn't we already look at that? <laughs> I don't even know anymore. All right, what's this stuff? We have to have a shovel. God bless it, it's another one. I don't see it. Oh, there he is. Oh my God. Where did that guy come from? Like, I want to take it, but I, <laughs> I got to heal myself first. Okay, let's get back in the shade. Chemistry workbench. I think we have clay on the ship. On our boat. I don't even know if I brought a saw with me. Is that not gonna suck? <laughs> I did not bring a saw with me. I'm gonna lose it. I don't make a flipping workbench. How long does it take to build this? An hour and 20. Oh, uh, guys. We need to sleep. Sunstroke. That went away. I can feel like I can breathe. Apart from the fact that, you know, apart from the fact in the last episode we did waste a bottle of living water. I feel like I can breathe now. But let's... I do want to go ahead and finish these. Just so I know I have them here. This will be our outpost on this island in case we ever have to come back. Hour 20. 
I don't even know how long we are into this episode right now, and I've just spent my entire time building just so I could try to heal myself. We have the ability to do it now, so I feel better. We have a saw, we have wood chips. For the most part, we're okay. Alright, let's see if we can make it to this tree. Probably gonna get bit by another spider. I can't believe they're out in the middle of the open. Jerk. I don't like those. Did we ever explore that ship? There's a bed up here. <laughs> Living water, dragon fruit. Okay. I'm guessing that means we gotta go. We're just gonna have to go that way. We need to get back and we'll sleep for the night. And then we'll hit this place up first thing in the morning. Holy crap, guys, what an adventure. Ooh, what is that? What the hell is that? Cannonball! Let's take it. Any spiders around me, because I ain't doing this. My stone axe broke. <laughs> Officially broke. What is this? <gasps> yes. And honestly, I don't remember if I came up on this ship or not. I think I did now that I'm here. No, we haven't. A book? Fencing? Okay. Corn seeds? Get up top. Copper. Bandage with red gum. That's just health regen. Oh my god, yes. Maybe we should look at our map and see if there's any any fresh water. It has not rained on this island. Like at all. Okay, we're just gonna have to wing it. Because. Maybe. Oh, Cannonball Fruit does some stuff. Okay, that works. That works. Let's just go to sleep. I forgot I got that. We're solid. Look at that. We have made it all the way back up. No more afflictions. So let's take this good fortune. And let's, uh. Let's build an axe first. Alright guys, so we are basically maxed out. We ate our last cannonball fruit. 
everything has been repaired. It's time to go figure out what this island hides. Try to find our our shipmates. I really like those guys run from you. But man, look at that temperature, dude. I'm gonna avoid that. Nope, he wants some. How long does it take to get this out? Because there was something with this. Process Tegu hide. But we need an excellent Tanner workbench, which we do not have. Now we're going to get attacked by a bird. Can we climb up there? What is that? <gasps> Mapping charcoal. <gasps> There's a map. They've been here. I don't. Okay, there's a there's a tree down there. My God, I see a Jaguar. Multiple lizards. There's a camp down there. See it? Okay. Let's do this. First, we gotta get out of the shade, right? And I'm pretty sure we can map from up here, but I don't. I don't want to sunburn again. I'm. I'm tired of dealing with diseases. Even though sunburn's not a disease. So we got a tree down there that's lit up. A couple lizards and a jaguar. But this is like a tent over here, so maybe... Maybe this is what we've been looking for. I need to get out of the, the sun, though. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely not a native camp. What's that? Need a copper ingot and we can repair the sextant. Blank piece of... Okay. So we're off to investigate. Our astronomer and navigator, Diego Nunez, will travel to the island with the coordinates 25 by 44 degrees north, 79 by 29 degrees west. Where the winds are constantly blowing, he said that it would be the best place to compose the wind rows. Jose de Ruiz volunteered to explore the island covered with constant fog. Just like the belt of Bimini, the coordinates of the island are 25.44 degrees north by 29 by 18 degrees west. There, he will try to understand why the fog never lifts. And at the same time, he clearly hopes to find more ancient remnants. Our alchemist and naturalist, Francisco Maurice, rushed to the Crocodile Island, where he had noticed interesting swamp fumes. Sounds strange, but all the scientists are a bit strange. The coordinates of the island are 25 by 43 degrees north, 79 by 16 degrees west. Holy crap, dude. Jacob Elieso wants to study the currents covering near the underwater temple. Oh my god, dude, this is so much stuff. I will accompany him and go to the coordinates at 25 uh, by 44 degrees north, 79 by 21 degrees west. Engineer Gaspar Castillo and Dr. Ricardo intend to study the island with iron deposits. 25 by 35 degrees north, 79 by 8 degrees west. In order to find resources to upgrade our ship before the trip to Bimini, as well as to gather information about the fairway. Oh my god, dude. So we're gonna have to go find all these people. What's the spot sounds so interesting? <laughs> Pepper seeds. 
And I'm guessing that means we have to fix all this stuff. Feather and ink and a copper ingot. I guess that means we are not done. With this island. An elephant ear. If I find a chemistry workbench here, I'm going to lose my shit. Oh no. took the lives of many members of the San Cristobal crew, including the captain. But the ship reached the final destination of the expedition. Instead of the island, the sailors found an impassable chain of rocks and dangerous currents. They called it the B-Mini Belt. After unsuccessful attempts to pass the B-Mini Belt, the ship was badly damaged and in need of urgent repairs. First mate Fernan, who had become the new leader, decided to stop near one of the large islands. Fernan organized the construction of a temporary camp there in order to find resources to repair the San Cristobal, as well as to search for other survivors who could be on the islands nearby. A few days later, the survivors arrived themselves! Juan Ponce de Leon was accompanied by sailors from the Santa Maria. Once again, the commander encouraged his comrades in the success of the expedition. During the assembly, Fernand showed pieces of copper ore that had been found on the island. If enough copper could be found, it would be possible to repair the San Cristobal and continue the expedition. The crew decided to go in search of copper ore deposits. The next morning, Fernand Delgado and Juan Ponce de Leon as the most experienced explorers left the camp. Map of Copper Island. This map shows the location of the copper mine which Ponce and Fernand were headed to. Yep. I think that's where that stupid jaguar is at. And we need copper ore to fix the sextant. But we need ink. I don't think we can actually sleep here, but look, there's a tanner workbench. A skin dryer. We may have to actually make this a temporary camp for our guys. I cannot believe that, though. We did all that work down there and everything we need is right here. Oh! The Book of Washerwoman by Nicholas Flamel. <laughs> that is legit. Where's this stupid thing at? What time is it? Is that the cannonball tree? There's two of them. Huh. And I don't think we've mapped this one. We have not. And I think it's too late to map. I don't even know if I have a rope. I don't. That looks like the death cap. Nope, it's that tricky or whatever.
Oh, there's... Oh, God. Oh, I have two cuts. That's not good. That's not good at all. Um... I think I just need elephant here to fix it, though. All right, let's get a fire going. Oh my god, I do need one of those. I thought I grabbed meat. I did not. No health regen. Okay. Well. We've got a tree there and a tree there. Let's make some charcoal. But we don't have any rope. There, there's literally no fresh water. There's some dragon fruit. Maybe we can go this way and we'll get lucky and run into like one of those rope trees. If we don't, you know, in a sense, die from these stupid lizards. How many? Is that three of them? keep telling myself I gotta look at the ground. Oh god. Dude, these little dudes are no joke. I'm gonna have to take that stupid gum thing. This. And I still got a Jaguar I gotta deal with. Run, 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 run. Guys, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die from freaking lizards. God. This is insane. I gotta do it, guys. And even now, it's not great. My 
god, there are so many of these stupid lizards. Okay. Let's let's do this. We need rope. So let's go back and get some rope. We need to fix our spear. Oh, dude, there's so many freaking... <laughs> there's so many of these things. What is this? Alright. Guys. I just want to find our captain. The game won't let me. Okay. Alright, one last thing. Let's go ahead and repair this. I guess we need to do that in the light. Let's, uh... Let's go to sleep. On our boat. This is nuts. This is this is by far, guys, the the toughest island I've been on. I can't see the spiders. I walk right into them. There's lizards everywhere. There's also a jaguar, and they just leap at you. And man, do those things do some damage. Look, we're right here. We're right here by this Jaguar. We're going to do it. And maybe... That looks like it might be water. I think it is. I'm gonna get real quiet. God, it scared me. Alright, I can block his attacks. Guys, there was a cat in here, right? Yep, there he is. Got him.
<sighs> oh no. I thought that was going to be like fresh water. Okay. Shyster. These little things make me look so bad. Okay. No birds. What does it say? Song of the best people. And to bring justice and prevent conflict, the elders have spoken. Only the best are worthy of prolonged life since those most useful to the tribe will create even more good by living longer. May the ones who desire to live longer be ready to prove their value to their tribe, to great council, and to the fountain itself. May the ones who desire the miraculous potion be prepared to face trials. May those whose bravery, mastery, knowledge, and strength are proven beyond doubt be called the best people. May the best people consume the blessed waters to prolong their youth. And all who heard this agreed, this is a fair solution, and shall be set henceforth, and forever, and ever. Man, this is so cool. Unfortunately, I know I'm going to miss many of those. There's got to be something else over here, though, right? What was that murder cat freaking garden? <gasps> the copper mine. I don't even have a freaking pickaxe. And I guarantee you we need a freaking workbench. Oh, we don't. I need a log handle, though. So we just gotta find a big branch. I don't have a way to make an ingot. It is? Awesome. Okay. So I don't I don't know if I should go ahead and just try to grab some of this. Six pounds. Let's Find copper mine from the map. And we're okay, so he went north. Let's let's go back to the tree. I think that's what we should do. Is that, that clearly that's not the mine we're supposed to find. And I'm hoping when we get to the mine we'll find an ingot so we can fix this sextant. Or that's the God bless it, dude. I'm I'm tired of these freaking lizards. And then one of those islands is the island of crocodiles. Like, are you kidding me? And the fact there's freaking two of them, man. That one die. God, man. Those things are worse than the Jaguars. All right, let's just climb this tree. There's another one. We're gonna kill every single lizard on this island. 
Every single one of them. That's got to be it. This is the north part of the island. Oh, I think we're in a different spot. Is there another jaguar over here? Yep, there's the right mine, and I hear it, oh God. This dude's gonna kill me. Stupid cat. Oh my god. How come the lizards do so much more damage? Okay, we found it. Look at the plate. Juan Ponce de Leon and Fernand Delgado found an ancient copper mine in the depths of the island. The explorers were about to start mining the ore. When a huge beast jumped out of the bushes and rushed to the commander, the conquistadors had never seen such a ferocious predator before. Fernand did not hesitate and struck the animal with a well-aimed shot. His quick response is the only thing that saved Juan Ponce de Leon. With the beast defeated, the friends filled a cart with copper ore and returned to the camp. The sailors were able to use the ore to forge strong patches and reliable tools to repair the San Cristobal. The ship and four small boats were soon fixed and ready to sail. This time, Juan Ponce de Leon decided to act for sure. The commander organized several search parties to study the nearby islands and their weather. Knowledge of the region was to help the sailors make their way through the bee mini belt. I found a list of places with coordinates where the search parties and the commander himself had gone. If I can determine the coordinates of the island I am currently on, I could draw a map and then figure out where to sail to find Juan Ponce de Leon. A cathedral will be built here in memory of Fernand Delgado, who saved the life of his captain Juan Ponce de Leon. My life. In 1513, we mined copper here in an ancient mine to restore a damaged ship and continue the expedition in search of the Fountain of Youth. All I got out of that is that I want a gun. Oh my. Craft a copper ingot. And how do we do that? A copper ingot but we need a smelter how do you make a smelter two rocks I mean it's not much just two rocks and two and two clay let's uh I 
I don't know if we can make it back to the... We're going to have to make it back to our camp. I don't have a place to sleep. And I wonder if the termite mounds have clay in them. I feel like they had something more than just termites. So we'll go check one of those out. Let's uh, eat, drink, and go to sleep. Let's go see if there's clay inside these... termite mounds. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, man. I hate you. I hate you. I mean, you literally have to have a fire anytime you want to do anything. That is insane, and I'm already... <laughs> Good god of god, this game is freaking just challenging. It's frustrating. I don't even have F and hammer. I was like so convinced. And I don't have a big branch. <laughs> oh, guys. Alright, let's go grab a big branch. Song of the Last Days. When the war with the Immortals ended, the story of this tribe nation ended with it. For 16 years, people were dying of pestilence all over the islands. They were destroyed. They poisoned wells and created new clay wells for rainwater, but it was too late. And soon, there was no one left to drink from them. And there were those who sailed off into the fogs of Bimini Belt on their simple boats, but no one ever returned, and the red waters told their fate. And on the 17th year after the ship burning, the last mortal in the last village took his breath. Oh, dude. <laughs> I love the story, but it like, it's me. Oh my God. I never look down. And it gets me in so much trouble. Now what I need to make the other axe, not axe, hammer. Big branch and a stone, right? Okay. I probably should have built a cart <laughs> so I can bring it with me. We have a kiln. I now have minor poisoning. Fantastic. Now well, we gotta fix that. Oh my god, I need leaves. I don't know if there's any over here. Oh, thank you. We 
we need coal. Oh my god. Guys, I don't know where coal is. I think it was on the other island. We actually have some. <gasps> okay. Did that work? Oh, it worked. Okay. Actually, I think that's going to run out. I honestly think that's going to run out before that's finished. Um, I don't remember where... It's clay, copper, and stone. Obsidian and stone. Clay, copper, coal. So we're going to have to go back to the Red Island to get copper. I should probably actually pay attention to this more because I never do that. Because I'm stupid. We can sleep. I don't think I have anything else to eat that's going to give us water. And I'm pretty sure our smelter just went out. I bet we didn't get copper. <laughs> Alright guys, we are sailing now. That's okay. This is crazy. There it is. Oh, how many should we take? Look, there we go. Took as much as we could. Okay, we got more charcoal. Fourteen blueprints were just unlocked. Copper saw. Copper hammer, shovel. Oh my god, pickaxe, yes. We're gonna get all the copper we can get then. Oh, copper. What is this? Okay. Yeah, we, we just need copper. Copper on copper on copper. We're going to build a cart in the morning, and we're going to get all the copper that we can. So let's go ahead and... We need more time. Okay. Now let's chop this cute tree down. Awesome. Now, we're going to put you up a pickaxe. You just need a stone, so you're repaired. How many stones do we have? Let's put one more in our inventory. Let's grab this cart. Um, we can go ahead and eat. I think we can find some more uh, trees along the way. about to burn through our energy guys 
You know, guys, on my way here, I thought of one more thing. We need that copper ingot for the sextant, but we also got to make some ink, and that's something we didn't actually see. And I think our wheelbarrow sucks. Copper strips. A pottery workbench in order to make that. And we have to have the clay strips. Son of a bitch, man. Okay, so we can do that fairly quickly. Alright, well. I guess we're going to be building a pottery workbench. Oh my god, guys. Look at the energy that's about to suck out of us. Alright, this is how we're going to do it. And of course, I have he effing heat stroke again. This is ridiculous, man. Alright, guys, we're going to have to go back and get our mobile bed. As well as have the ability to get uh, a fire going. Because we're going to have to sleep outside. Even if that means we can just sleep up here. I don't mind doing that. There's definitely food everywhere. But. And this island sucks. Like I don't want to really come back here. Okay. Feather and ink. Yeah, I think this is our, yes, our portable bed. Got some cannonballs. We can at least drink some water. We got to get back and, and fix our overheating issue. It's going to put you right there so we can sleep. I got to get in the boat. We have to build Gotta get the mortar and pestle Okay Maybe that part will heal itself Um Unless, man, we don't really have enough. We basically got, guys, we got to sleep. And hope to God that holds us over. Okay. It didn't fix itself. This flipping sucks. Let's go grab some termites. Let's fix our overheating. I hate this game. I hate this game. Okay. Let's fix our o overheating issue real quick. Let's just go get as many coconuts as I can. This is nuts. <sighs> ah, no, dude. And these are all just date palms. 
like we're gonna end up having what is this oh god that's a coal mine That's the key, guys. You gotta back up. Guys, there's... There's no effing palm trees. They're date palms. Oh god, here we go. Okay. At this point, as long as we can stay away from heat stroke, we should have plenty of coconuts to keep us keep us hydrated. That's nuts, man. This entire biome there's no like fresh water and it did not rain Let's, I could get a fire going, I guess, and I'm going to place you right there, a log and a split log. Okay. I kind of want to regain all of my energy, which it looks like we will. We have a wind chill. Screw it, man. Let's just sleep. We had a wind chill all night long. Well, that was a wasted opportunity. Let's just cut you down. You're pissing me off. What do we need? A half log? clay to make a clay strip I do now we've got clay strips so now a chemistry workbench luckily we have that okay we got everything I think we need what is this baked fish and clay hell yes you can legit just make plates of food. But we need a heart pot. Hearth. Hearth. With a pot. We're going to do all this stuff when we get back to our main camp. Now. What is wrong? Oh my god. Runny nose. Guys, I'm, I'm doing this to myself. I know that. And then we got a runny nose. There we go. Can we go now?
I don't know what just happened. Okay, in the footsteps of the cap'n. So what is this? I mark the islands and the directions in which Ponce had sent his men to do their research. Windy Island is not far from here. The other islands are in the other regions. We've been to the Windy Island. What is this? Sail to the Puma region. Oh God, that didn't sound good at all. That's because we have the map, right? Learn the blueprint for a better ship. Okay. But what do we need for this? A wooden plank and seaweed fabric. Ah. Algae. Algae grows on the sea bottom but large rocks. Okay. We have enough energy. I really think what's about to happen is I'm going to go down here and grab this as much rocks as we can. Before we leave this place, I want all of the copper. Oh! Apparently we're gonna die of poison too. The snakes just keep coming back. I guess I can grab this bamboo. Alright guys, so here's the plan. Tomorrow we're going to wake up, we're going to come back and grab as much copper as we can, load it all onto the ship, and head back to our main camp. Rearm. And then make our plans to sail to this Puma region, which doesn't sound nice at all. We need to upgrade some of our clothing anyway. I'm tired of it dying on us. I'm also tired of hearing these lizards. They're all starting to come back. I wonder if we can make all that dried coffee. That'll at least help us get, I think at least one or two loads of this copper. We might not be able to get any more copper.
We're at max weight, ladies and gents. So we need to head back to our main camp. But we'll leave all this here. Mainly because we know how crappy this place is. Might be able to take this with us. That way we can just build it, right? All this is good. We can leave it. The chemistry workbench was pretty easy to make. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to end things here. Ended on a high note, knowing that we've conquered the Buffalo region. But now it's time to go home. Go home and resupply and rearm and get ready for that Puma region. However, I want to take this time to say thank you. Thank you for your love and support throughout this series. It's been a fun one. I'm having a blast, and I hope you are too. And guys, just a reminder, the limited time Survivor Fountain of Youth series merch is out right now. And to make things even better, enter the code MAD10 at checkout to get 10% off your entire order. Man, it sounds weird to sell things through YouTube. Nevertheless, guys, gals, I love you. Stay frosty, stay mad, and I'll see you all in the next one.